Hey, what's going on everybody? In this lesson, we're gonna be going over an exercise and a concept that'll help you groove in a Mixolydian style. So let's go. All right guys, so as you can see in the beginning, I was just playing in a Mixolydian mode. I was using the Mixolydian scale. If you don't know what that is, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, and then octave, all right? So, all right, of the major scales. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. All right, that's the only difference between a major scale and a mixolydian scale. So you hear a lot of grooves dealing with that flat seven or that B flat or if you're in the key of C. Uh, so you hear a lot of the grooves, especially a lot of the Jocko groove. So you hear the relationship between the flat seven and the major three. And a lot of the songs that he did revolve right around that mode right around that sound. And the exercise and the concept that I wanted to show you is really gonna help you uh, with your fills and improv, and even just, I'm gonna actually show you in a groove how you can use this concept as well. But let's get to it, I don't wanna waste any more time. So, how I'm starting, I'm starting the exercise. Well, let me just play it for you first. All right, so you got it? You hear the sound of it. It sounds like a normal exercise, but let me show you exactly what I'm doing. I'm using just the Mixolydian mode. I'm doing inversions of the Mixolydian mode. So if you don't know that, like I said before, one, three, five, flat seven. All right, so I'm taking the arpeggio from that scale. So I'm not playing all of the notes, I'm just playing the arpeggio from it. The one, three, the five, and the flat seven in this case. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm starting the whole scale. I'm starting the arpeggio over again, starting from the next note. So the first arpeggio would be obviously starting from the root note. The next arpeggio will be starting from the third note. All right, so I have the third note, but I'm gonna play the notes in the Mixolydian arpeggio, what I just played there. So the notes that I have is C, E, G, and B flat. My next arpeggio is going to be E, G, B flat, C. Okay, so you don't, I wouldn't really call it, well, it's kind of an arpeggio, I guess you can say, but that spacing, you're not skipping uh, thirds like you would do the first one, but you're playing and utilizing every single note inside of that arpeggio. It's more so inversions versus arpeggios, if you get what I mean. All right, so my next set of notes will be E, G, B flat, and I just have to finish off the arpeggio, C. That's the note that I'm leaving out, so I have to play that. All right, so guess what the next one would be? It will start on G. So since I'm so low here, I'll start right here. All right, so I have to play G. My next one is B flat, D, E. Okay, so you, you see what I mean? I'm using every single note. So C, E, G, B flat is in every set and every group of notes. I'll put it up here too so you can visually see. I'm just inverting that. Right, so the first note will start first, the root note. The third note will start next. The fifth note will start next. The same way we talked about with chords. And if you haven't seen the inversions, the chord inversions, take a look at that. It'll really help you get a grasp on what I'm talking about right now. The next mode, or the, sorry, the next arpeggio or set of notes, I'm starting on G. The next set, I'm gonna be starting on B flat, which was my last note of my arpeggio. Uh, so I have E, G. B flat, so I have B flat, C, E, G. That's the one I'm leaving out, so I have to play it like that. Okay, so the fingering that I'm using for this, let me slow it down, I'm gonna be doing second finger, starts first, fourth, second, for the first arpeggio. Next group of notes, one, four, two, four. You get it? Next group of notes starting on G, four, two, four, three. All right, now I'm gonna shift up for the next group of notes starting on the B flat. So I have one, three, two, and this is gonna be a jump to the G, or a stretch to the G, so I'm stretching a, a whole step and a half step, all right, or three semitones. So it's pretty simple, and I always say after, mostly after every single exercise that I do, uh, what goes up must come down. So it'll really give you a sense of your fretboard and where your notes are and, and how to play this arpeggio in different places and different spots of the fretboard. All right, so let me do this in time.
All right, guys, so you got the concept, you go down the same exact way. Now, let me show you that in a groove. All right, guys, so as you can see, it gets pretty addicting once you start playing this concept over a Mixolydian groove. And all I was doing was playing exactly what I showed you with the arpeggio starting from the C, starting from the E, starting from the G. Did I do the B flat? I'm not sure if I did it. I think I did a variation. It just kind of ran with it a little bit, but that was my foundation of my feel or my lick, right? So I can place that in different areas. Just take it and run with it like I always say. Make sure you know it's coming out clean, clear, and precise. And until next time, I'll see you.